Illy, there are a lot of guys out there that want to bang you. I need you to make every shot count. Ellie, you're so young and unspoiled. I found another one of them comics. And what did you learn in school today? Welcome back to Corzy on Season 5! We're doing it! We're doing it! Oh, 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 yes! Yes! We're back! Thank you so much for returning to your favorite toy YouTube show slash baffling future nonsense escape. Here at Gorzians know you have a lot of choice when it comes to your YouTube. So I thank you for choosing Southwest Corzians. Oh man, we're back for Season 5, our last season. Hang it out up after this! Oh yeah, our final season gets going with Lim Toys. The rest of us, what the fuck? Miller and Williams figures. Which of course is The Last of Us, Joel and Allie. Major Last of Us spoilers are ahead. Now these are toys based on The Last of Us Part 1. Which I like it so much, I bought it three times! Last of Us for PS3! Last of Us Remastered for PS4, and Last of Us Part 1 PS5 because by then there was a Part 2. Oh my, these are Metal Gear levels of rebuying the game that is the sameness. These are my two. Now, the Last of Us series are two of my favorite games ever, Part 1, Part 2. They, especially Part 1, are just so special and great. Awesome story, great acting. Awesome characters, amazing PS3 graphics, and then good PS5 graphics. Wow! Now, you may call this a zombie game, and I'm famously not a big fan of zombies, other than my hypocrisy of liking Resident Evil so much. But let's be honest, those games haven't been about zombies since Roundhouse Kicking a Werewolf was a thing. Anyway, these aren't zombies either. See? They have crap all over their head. And the ones that don't aren't zombies, they're runners because they run. Way different. Super different. Anyway, part one is all about love. And I love the story so much. Oh man, it was so great to experience the first time. And I rewatching these gameplay videos or whatever for this episode again was just like, <laughs> this is such a good game. And uh, I'm glad that HBO did a pretty good job. Uh, pretty good job adapting it as well from the beginning joel losing his daughter at the outset of the outbreak surviving for 20 years as a mercenary uh type um smuggler guy and then falling in fatherly love with ellie over the course of the game learning to be okay again with having a kid in his life and having something to fight for and traversing the whole country with all the different environments great combat super violent kind of scary great characters and oh my goodness what a gut punch of an ending level and an ending ending oh man one of my absolute faves and i'm so glad to finally have some toys of these darn things very excited about this bootleg very excited to get it out of the box speaking of the box holy moly look at that box i love holographical shit and this is that it's got holographical shit all over. It's got Fedra on the back. It's got a Firefly logo. I don't know how they got away with this. It's got cool cordycepsies, fungal flourishes all over the fudging thing. Oh, man. Very cool box. But, you know, we're only sort of here for the box. All right. 
word for here for what's inside it. Let's get it out. It's Counterfeit Toy here, I'm Corsi, and it's episode 53. Ellie, why are you mad at me? We're tearing my clothes. I could be a lady beautiful. All right, let's do it. Inside the boxes. More boxes. Okay, okay. A little one, which appears to be accessories. And the two figure boxes. Put that down gently. These boxes, inner bo box, box. These inner boxes are very cool, featuring just art from the game with some quarter stuff behind it. But what? Really nice, really clean, really nice looking, dark, cool, and such. Let's get the accessories out first because, as we know here in Corzeans, Cory doesn't care as much as about these accessories. Yes, I just penned that shit without difficulty. That's how cool I am. Let's get them out. Strange inside. Just the plastic thing. Okay. And inside we got a ghost. A ghost mask. A ghost mask. A gas mask for fighting those pesky spores. We got a Molotov cocktail. Transparent. Pretty cool. We got a machete for slicing. And we got a bat for baseball. Baseball bat. Very cool. Those look nice. Set those PC for now. So which one should I do first? I think you know what I'm going to do first. Let's get Pedro Pascal out of the box. Am I right? Woo! But, as I should say, um, I pre-ordered this based on... There weren't that many much uh official last of us like action figures there weren't a lot to, there wasn't like a lot going around there's some statues and shit but yeah 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 and when i looked at these these looked a hell of a lot like the game characters so these are in fact based on the game not the hit hbo office show that everyone loves which is it's good it's, it's not the game but it's good so let's get joel out of the box first he comes with a buttload of stuff just for him. Holy moly, he's got three sets of spare hands. Got a trigger hand, a gripping hand, a closed fist, and an open hand. A brick for bricking. A knife for shivin'. His, his, his watch from Sarah. <laughs> oh god. Uh, it comes with a handgun and a revolver type pistol as well. Also comes with it comes with a broken scissors. That's pretty cool. Throughout the game, you collect lots of crap to, to craft weapons and stuff, and this comes with broken scissors. I don't know what these strings are for, but we'll figure that out. It comes with an instruction sheet. It's a bandage. Like, he bandages himself when he gets hurt in the game. That is pretty cool. Lots of detail. And inside, 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 more inside, comes with... A figure stand, more broken scissors. There are a lot of fucking broken scissors in this shit. He's gonna be able to build lots of lots of shivs with those. Comes with an axe. A pipe! Um, what are these called? Pipe bombs or little bombs? The little bombs that he can make with the, the shrapnel and shit. A fabric, very nice backpack with a flashlight on it. A shotgun. And the rest of the stand. There is a ton of crap in here. I am sexually pleased right now. We're gonna set all that aside for now. I'm gonna try to get this instruction thing open. Which again contains another scissor. So he has like three half is three halves of a scissors. How to apply roller bandages? Place the sticky side of the bandage on the wounded area and wrap it around, cut off the excess leg. Oh it's taped. It's like a tape thing, so you can it's more of a permanent thing though. You can also make improvised weapons with the various uh, scissors. You can tape you can tape scissor pieces to the bat and to the lead pipe and stuff. That is really cool. That is really uh, a lot of detail in such a little package. I'm surprised that these figures weren't bigger, but I'm not minding it. Uh, we, it's time to get the figure itself out of the box, which is very exciting. I'm very excited. I don't want to peek. I don't want to Wow. Wow. Wow, 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 That is effin' cool. It looks like effin' Joel. It's Joel from the game. 
His skin is a little too dark. It's like weirdly dark. But other than that, that looks just like Game Joel. Perhaps his shoulders are too bulky, but in the game he is kind of a boxy figure as well. But fabric coat, fa fabric clothes that come off him. Oh my, oh my Joel. <laughs> so dumb. All right, but this looks great. It looks just like him from the game. It really does. He's got his green shirt. He's got some jeans. He's got his boots. Oh man, I am pleased with this. He's got great paint detail, he's got shiny eyeballs. Again, the skin seems a little dark, but it's not bad. And actually, his chest skin is is um, rubbery, so it's there's no... Uh, his neck can bend and stuff, but there's no seam there, so that's really cool. Really cool indeed. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, let's talk about how he moves. His head is a bit loose, but it's, it's not flopping either. It goes all the way around, tons of movement there, and there's neck movement too, like I said, in the squishy neck. He's got upper torso movement, his waist moves, he's got a bit of a crunch, a bit of a back in there. He's got a lot of shoulder movement. That can go all over the place. He's got a double at the elbow, now, the shirt does get in the way a little bit, and I'm sure the pants will too, but the instructions specifically say, just move it out of the way to improve articulation. Thanks, instructions! Without you, I'd be so dumb! Um, and then tons of movement at the wrist too. That is a, a wide berth in these default fist, fist hands for punching. He's got nice swivel at the leg he's got his thighs go up and down of course you know the the jeans are going to inhibit his movement a little bit there but he's got rotation in the in the thigh too he's got a double knee he's even wearing effing socks i didn't catch that easy he's, he's got fabric effing socks and that is crazy detail and tons of foot movement nothing at the toe for like a bended toe thing but tons of back and forth and tons of tilt what a little package! I love it! Oh man, it's awesome! Oh man, this is great. It doesn't, I, I would say it doesn't quite look just like him from the game, but it's darn close. It's darn close. That is awesome, man. Oh man, just one face. Let's get some of these accessories on. I'm going to try to put his backpack on without breaking it. It looks a little fragile, um, but I'm going to try very cool backpacks on. Got his flashlight pointing out for the dark areas. Wow, the gas mask is fabric straps too. Trying to get the gas mask on. It's a little tough. I, I'm really trying not to break things. They're really little, but it's not like it doesn't feel like it's gonna break, but it just feels like it's like kind of delicate. Gas mask on. Very cool. Very cool. Let's get that off though. I want to see his pretty face. Oh man, this is awesome. And he comes equipped with his fist hands, so the fist just comes right off. I'm gonna try to get a gun hand in there. Here's one with like a trigger finger. Ugh. Okay, let's do a handgun. He is practicing trigger safety on that beast. Oh yeah, very cool. Oh man, I often love this thing. This is great. This is really great. Very, very cool. We'll do some poses now so you can see him holding all the different accessories and all the different stuff but right now here is the default on goal with he's got a fist in one hand he's got a gun in another and he's got his backpack on this looks effing great i love it Now, let's talk about Ellie. It's Ellie time! Let's get her out of the box now. After such a pleasing Joel 
exposure. I am very excited for this little girl. Let's get her out. She comes with very similar accessories in terms of she has a stand. She has only two pairs of spare hands. She comes with her trusty pocket knife. She comes with a handgun. A brick for booping. A sniper rifle. A bow and arrow with a, a an elastic string and four arrows. She comes with her lucky backpack, complete with charms on there, and flashlight for her too. Very cool. And let's get Ali Alice take some of the plastic off. Oh man, this is awesome. These figures are great. These are great figures. I love them. That looks just like Ellie from the game. It really does. She looks, um, you know, a bit older in the new in the part two. Um, she looks like a little kid in this, and uh, she doesn't suffer from the, the bulky shoulders that Joe did. If anything, I'd say maybe her arms are a little long, or maybe her hands are too big. Um, when she did the spares, but other than that, it looks it looks really good. Um, I'm not crazy about her hair being a hard plastic thing. I feel like that's ripe to rip off. But other than that, she's got the shiny eyes, great paint detail. Her skin doesn't look too doesn't look too dark like like Joel's did. She's got similar jeans on. She's got her Chucky type um, shoes. She's got socks too, and she's got her dark T-shirt from the game. And standing next to Joel, um, she is a little lady, just like she should be. And, uh, yeah, oh man, that is awesome. Very, very pleased with that. Let's put Joel down for now. Let's talk about how Ellie moves. She's got a ton of head movement, just like in Joel. Her skin, her, um, neck skin is also one piece. So that is, uh, you know, no seam there and similar movement there. She's got just as much movement in the shoulder as Joel, but hers are, her shirt is a little tighter, a little less give there. Um, her, uh, her long sleeve shirt under is stretchy though, so uh, much easier to do, to do the double elbow there. Tons of hand movement, just like on Joel. Um, she's got a bit of a crunch at the chest there. Um, her uh, torso is definitely less um, move, movable than Joel's was. Um, see, she's got legs. She, does she have a rotated thigh? She does. She's got a double knee, just like that, just like Joel did. And again, tons of foot movement there. Very, very cool. I love it! Let's change up some of the hands so she can hold some stuff. The only thing I would say about her face is maybe she's a little too clean. She's got like a, a hint of a mark on her on her forehead, like, she, like a wound. But um, other than that, a little too doll-like, but that's okay, not, not terrible. Let's pop the sniper rifle in there. Let's see if this is gonna be easy. The hang all the, ex all the like skin accessories, they're really malleable. It's not hard plastic at all. So I'm thinking that this, um, and it doesn't feel like it's gonna rip either. It feels like it's bendy enough. So as long as you're not stupid, you're not gonna break it. <laughs> um, so we'll see. I'm gonna try to open up the hand here. She can hold the sniper rifle. Very cool, very cool. Oh man, I love these a lot. This was a smart purchase, Corey. Smart one! Oh man, this is great. Let's take a look at some poses for Ellie and all her accessories. Here she is holding her bow and arrow. Here she is hurling a brick to help Joel. Here she is with a handgun. These are Stu Pundis. The backpack actually has adjustable straps to make it tighter. Holy moly, how did they, oop, Ellie's head just fell off. How did they do this? Oh man. Holy moly, are you kidding? The backpack actually has a working zipper. You can open the damn thing. Holy shit. Unbelievable amount of detail. 
Holy poop! You can put her accessories in there! That's so cool! Oh my goodness! Daddy can't believe it. Daddy is flavor, flavor blasted and flabbergasted at this shit. Holy moly. So Joel's backpack. Has zipper detail, but it doesn't have Joel's backpack seems to be glued shut. That's interesting that Ellie's opens. His has little flaps on the side. Um, but yeah, his doesn't appear to actually open. Which is interesting that the one did, but Ellie didn't. Wow, wow, wow. These figures are so cool for such not a crazy price point. Not even bad price point. Wow, wow, wow. I'm so... In presticles. I've spent more for less, that's for sure. These things surely are a home field goal. Oh my! Them toys, the rest of us, Miller and William get a five out of five bloaters in a blow bang festival. Oh, I love them. Perfect figures, perfect. We did it! What a way to start the season! What an unboxing! Oh man, oh man! Corey is pleased! Yes, 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 please see my YouTube channel. Now that's social media bullshit, I don't do anything on it anyway. Please see my YouTube channel, subscribe, like, thank you for watching. Yes, keep watching. Please note that I have a Patreon, consider patronizing it. Cure Cordyceps with Corey Epps! Huh? Huh? Whoever you are over there, self applause. Oh yeah, Abby, what do you think of these post-apocalyptic so-and-sos? Whichever one Abby knocks over will be his favorite. Abby, Abby, come here. Hey, Abby, which one's your favorite? Which one's your favorite? Which one do you like? Ellie? Oh, getting up in Ellie. Gross. <laughs> Or Joel. <laughs> uh, ah! Woo, 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 woo. ah, I see. Apparently they smell too much like spores and not enough like his own feces. Next time is on Corzianzas, we're going Pixar crazy. That's right, we're talking Mattel storytellers. Up and Wally figure sets. Very cool. And then after that, we're gonna do a Corzians quickie with our old pal Kevin the Bird from Up. Holy moly, two Pixar shows in a row. I don't believe it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time on Corzeons! Just had to wake you up there. Thank you, bye. Ellie, it's time to put your gas mask on. I don't need it. I'm immune, remember? To lots of stuff. Like what? Well, spores? Mace? Oh, really? I'm sorry, did you say something? Well, all right, how about this? Wow, where did you get a scented candle? Christ, baby girl, you are something special. I only wish my Sarah was immune to my farts. Please. Please work this time. I must finish the portal. Oh, all is lost. Yes! Yes! The portal! Oh! Yes! The past! A, a pretty meadow! That's nice! Okay! Okay. Commencing. Mechanical insertion. Okay. Okay, little robot. God damn it. Oh. 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 Time oh. Oh. Time oh. Time Computer. Time Suppress time. Paradox warnings. Oh. That's better. Changing 
The timeline is the whole point. Okay, come back. Okay, little robot. Come back. I've got you. I've got you. Yes. Okay. Commencing biological insertion. Don't worry. <laughs> so what do you think? <laughs> it's nearly this adorable, cute little bunny. <laughs> okay, little bunny. This is your time to shine. Yes, buddy, you can do it. Change something. You can do it. I, I believe in you. Oh, oh no. What's happening? Oh, oh, oh shit. Robot is the answer. Precious.